So I have here this floor vase in the color red. It's like a rind red color. And I'm going to try and paint it as this photo that is seen on the top. So I first sanded down the vase because I wanted to take the shine that it has. And then I started painting with this um, chalk white paint. I think I did like three coats of it. Finishing painting the vase um, with the white chalk paint, I took this paint from Apple Barrel in the color Territorial Beige, and I started painting the bottom of it, but I did it like, like it shows the picture, like you dip the vase in paint. Here it is with the first coat. I did three coats of the white chalk paint, and I did three coats of the Territorial Beige. Okay, let's start with this project. I have this metal hanging flower. Um, I'm gonna change the color because it doesn't go with my decor. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of paper and I'm gonna cut little circles. And then I'm gonna paste them with double stick tape on top of the little crystals because I don't wanna paint the crystals. So all I did is I took this black matte color and I painted the whole thing. You can use whatever color goes with your decors. And then I removed the paper from the crystal and I painted the little edge on the crystal with the apple barrel black acrylic paint. Then I just took a Q-tips and I dip it in alcohol and I cleaned the crystals. And here is the flower completed. What I like about this is that if I change my home decor, all I need to do is repaint the flower. Let's start with this project. I'm gonna do a juju hat. I'll be using a wood plaque and I'm gonna nail this little hanging strip so it will be easier to hang on the wall. Next what I did is I took a piece of rope and I glued it to the front of the bed all around it because that's going to give it a little elevation at the edge so it looked more like a juju hat. Next, I started um, gluing all the feathers around and I did this until I covered the whole wood plaque. So I finished gluing all the feathers and covered the whole wood plaque. Now I have here this flat bag wood bead and I'm going to glue it to the center where all the feathers meet just to cover that area. And then I took smaller beads in another darker color and I paste them around the whole flat bag bead. So here is my finished juju hat. I like this because this can be done in different sizes. You can get bigger or smaller feathers and also it can be done in different colors. 